Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us. We're coming to you with breaking news out of Duluth. Minutes ago, the St. Louis County Sheriff's Office told us two people died in a small plane crash. The Sheriff's Office says the crash happened in an unorganized town near Duluth. We're told this was a two passenger plane built in 1946 and the plane left Duluth International Airport this morning before nine o'clock. We'll update you as more details become available throughout the day. This afternoon, St. Paul police updated us on the condition of the eight year old who was shot multiple times last night. The good news is she is expected to survive. Police say the child was in her yard when shots were fired. Investigators say the shots were directed at the house where the girl lived. All of this happened at Eastside Commons on Bradley Street just after 10 o'clock last night. So far, no arrests have been made. By Mayor Fry's decree, Minneapolis will be known as Swiftyapolis. That came down more than an hour ago when city leaders laid out plans for this huge weekend of entertainment. There's Twin Cities Pride in Loring Park, which is expected to draw an estimated 600,000 people. Then Friday and Saturday, Taylor Swift fans will be at U.S. Bank Stadium for two sold-out shows. The mayor wants people in the city to prepare for Super Bowl-level crowds. The press conference is just about wrapped up. We'll have more on the plans starting at 4 o'clock. The World's Fair will not be coming to Minnesota after all. Just this morning, after four rounds of votes, Belgrade, Serbia was declared the 2027 host city, not Bloomington. This is what it would have looked like if it was in our metro. The fair would have been held in the South Loop District, right by the Mall of America. All right, we're in day two of a three day streak of low air quality from ground ozone pollution. Most of our state will be under conditions that are either moderate or unhealthy for sensitive groups through nine o'clock tomorrow night. Hey, but the big news making headlines for us here in the studio is that we're seeing Ben for the first time <laughs> since April. Congratulations, dad times two. Thanks a lot. Yeah, <laughs> just got off of paternity leave uh, this weekend. And yeah, it's great to be back uh, in the sunshine. I get to talk about warm summer weather again. Happy summer solstice, everybody. At precisely 9.58 this morning, the direct rays of the sun were over the Tropic of Cancer, and that means it signals the start of summer in the northern hemisphere. Certainly feels like it. And again, if you're going to be outside today, don't exert yourself so much. We still have that poor air quality that will continue through tomorrow evening at least. 85 degrees right now, basically on par with what we were at this time yesterday, so pretty much a repeat day. It's hot, it's breezy. Uh, southeasterly winds about 5 to 10 miles per hour will be with us most of the day. It's hazy sunshine for us here, but notice out over the Dakotas, we do have some showers and thunderstorms. Now, as we head deeper into the week, this frontal system slowly will work its way into Minnesota and Wisconsin, and that will give us not only clouds, but also, yes, a chance for some showers and storms later this week and into the upcoming weekend. I know the timing isn't great. Looks like Saturday is the best opportunity at seeing showers and thunderstorms, and there's even a chance at some severe weather, especially across the southern part of the state, Saturday afternoon and evening. Chance for rain will continue into Sunday, and notice that's when the temperatures will finally drop 90s for the next three days, and then we dip back into the 80s, even upper 70s possible as we head into the second half of the weekend and into next week. So yes, the rain is in the forecast. It's just the timing, not the best with it happening on, on the weekend. Chair. Look at you bringing the much needed rain back on your first day. Yeah, or the gloom, one of the two. Well, yeah, you can you can look at it different ways. Thanks, Ben. Welcome back. During a very hot week, storm potential on the weekend, like Ben mentioned, and poor air quality for yet another day. Download the Care 11 weather app so you can stay planned. It is free in every app store. Time is running out if you're wanting to enter a drawing for a spot in the Medtronic Twin Cities 10 miler. With the race happening in October, there's still plenty of time to train. And if that's on your radar, you have until 1159 tonight to register. If you're selected, it will be $99 to enter the race. And to celebrate the first day of summer, check out this cool shot snapped by Kip Earney of a loon feeding its baby the catch of the day. Thanks for sending this to our That's So Minnesota Facebook group. We love seeing those. That's all for tonight. Happy first day of summer. Don't go away just yet. We'll have another local news update in just half an hour.